This is a new way of seeing film. The idea of going with a high frame rate is that it's no longer, I mean, typically when you go and see a film, it's, it's, it's intimate, but it's also voyeuristic. You're kind of watching it. Um, with the high frame rate, it becomes experiential. When a, 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 like we have this motorcycle chase scene in the middle of the movie, and you know, at 24 frames a second, it'd be this awesome motorcycle scene that you, you see these stunt guys doing these amazing stunts. In our movie, it's, it's, it's much more experiential. It feels like you're on the street with them, watching the motorcycles go by. Your brain processes the imagery so much differently. We set about in this film creating a fully digital version of Will Smith, uh, both at 23 and also 50. Um, we start with a 50-year-old because we have access to a 50-year-old Will Smith, so we, we go through a lot of effort trying to polish it up and do as many iterations on it as possible so we get that dialed in to perfection. From there, we then start to pull it down to the 23-year-old Will Smith using all the filmography from when he was around that age, Bad Boys, Independence Day, Men in Black, Six Degrees of Separation, and Fresh Prince. So we, we you know, I was saying to somebody else, we, we get the joy of sitting there watching Will Smith films all day long every day. You know, it's not the worst job in the world to have, but uh, you take all that reference and you bend that 23 or the 50 year old Will Smith down to 23 and you got to make sure it doesn't look like we just shaved his beard off. It actually has to feel like he's genuinely younger. Um, and then from there, once you're ready to start with it, we motion capture Will, we get his performance and then we start applying it to shots and putting that into the, the, the movie. You get to see 23-year-old Will Smith and you get to see 50-year-old Will Smith performing against each other, giving beautiful, nuanced, crafted performances. Uh, on top of that, you get to see action like you've never seen it before. You get to see scenery like you've never seen it before. The 120 makes it so much more experiential to watch this stuff. It's just, it's a, it's a beautiful experience. They all bring different things to the table and, you know, Aang brings just passion and, and you know, desire to do better than we've done before. He's not just trying to make another movie, he's trying to advance what we're doing, advance the art form of filmmaking.